everyone. Welcome to Living a Balanced Life with Julio. My name is Julia Rapoku. I'm a registered nurse and a diabetes educator. On today's episode, we're going to talk about fiber, how to incorporate fiber into our diet to help us improve our health and to prevent diseases. If you're interested, please stay with me. So what is fiber? Fiber is a part of a plant, a starch or carbohydrate that our body cannot digest or break down. So when we eat fiber, our body cannot break it down. And because it cannot break it down, it help us with so many, um, help us manage so many diseases and prevent a lot of disease, um, a lot of diseases as well. Um, fiber, like I said, comes in, uh, comes from a plant. So meat and eggs and all of those do not have fiber. Fiber only comes from plant uh, source. So fiber, there's two types, insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. Insoluble fiber is the type, it's a bulky fiber, it's the type of fiber that's found on the skins of uh, fruits and vegetables, some um, whole grains and bran. And then you have uh, soluble fiber, which is the type of fiber that when you add water to it, it gets to it gets jelly and sticky and um, um, thick consistency. And these are these are two types of fiber. Most most food have both in them. So and they're both very important for our health and to help us prevent diseases. So for example, insoluble fiber. Is the type of fiber like I said that help us control our blood sugar it helps up with um, lower our cholesterol level so it helps remove cholesterol from our blood it help us um, stay full longer it help us prevent diarrhea it helps up uh, help prevent um, uh, people that want to lose it, it help you um, with weight loss because when you eat these foods if uh, your body uh, keeps it in your digestive system for a while because like I said it's hard for your body to break it down. So the food that have high fiber in it are harder for your body to uh, break down. Therefore, it makes you stay full longer because it's in your gut longer. And this will help prevent overeating, which and that can help you with weight loss. So fiber is very important part, essential part of our weight management and um, our weight loss for some people. Um, the insoluble type of, type of fiber is also important because it helps it helps with our gut health. So inso, um, insoluble fiber, like I said, is the bulky uh, type of fiber that helps sweep, act like a, a broom to sweep our gut. So it can get rid of, um, uh, uh, if there's a lot of backup, so people that suffer from constipation, this is a good type of fiber to include because it helps um, get rid of um, constipation. It helps you stay regular. It helps prevent um, gut health in terms of helps prevent, um, help increase the good gut bacteria that your body needs in order to digest food and break food down. It helps um, prevent ulcers for some people, people that suffer from um, um, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, people that have that, if you include this type of fiber, it can help you um, with that as well and prevent some cancers um, of the gut. So both type of fibers are very important to our health and are very important to include in our diet. Health Canada recommend that adults um, or adults get about, uh, especially female, gets about 25 grams of fiber in your daily um, diet. And for men, about 38 grams of fiber in your daily diet. If you have children, of course, including fiber into your children's diet also will help them stay regular and help. And also, they also get the same type of benefits that um, adults get. Um, Diabetes Canada recommend that people that have diabetes, type 1, type 2 diabetes, include fiber into their diet because it will help them regulate their blood sugar and help them with uh, maintaining uh, healthy blood sugar and preventing weight gain, preventing, therefore, preventing complications. So Health Canada recommend for people who have type 1 and type 2 diabetes to include, to include about 30 to 50 grams of fiber into their, um, to their daily um, diet. This because of the, all the uh, many benefits of fiber. So like I said earlier, fiber are only found in plant source. So uh, they're found in, pro, uh, they're found in um, uh, bran, they're found in uh, whole grain fruits, vegetables, um, legumes like lentils, um, beans, uh, chickpeas. All of those have fiber in it. They have both fiber in it. So uh, they're found in, pro, uh, they're found in um, uh, bran, they're found in uh, whole grain fruits, vegetables, um, legumes like lentils, um, beans, uh, chickpeas. All of those have fiber in it. They have both fiber in it and it can help us uh, stay healthy. So let's talk about some of the ways we can include fiber into our diet since we know how important it is for our health. So tip number one of making sure that you're including and getting enough fiber in your diet include making sure that you're choosing whole grain foods. So whole grain, um, whole grain uh, rice, um, putting, adding things like quinoa, which is another grain. And I want to show you here quinoa. It's like rice. 
but it's very high in fiber and very high in protein. So it's a good kind of grain to include into your into your um, diet. Some people that can just eat the quinoa by itself, they can mix the quinoa. So some people uh, put half quinoa, half rice, mix it together, and then cook it. That way, they it increase the fiber um, intake, um, their fiber intake. Um, ways that you can do that is making sure that when you're snacking, you snack on fruits, um, vegetables, nuts, and seeds because all of them have a combination of the insoluble fiber and soluble fiber, and that will help um, uh, help you boost the amount of fiber that you need um, in your diet. Um, choosing plant protein is a good way to increase your fiber intake. So uh, using things like chickpeas, um, including in your soup, in your salad, um, that will help you make sure that you're getting some um, some fiber. Um, choosing beans, if you if you like beans, making sure that you're putting some beans into your diet, this will help you boost your fiber intake because plant proteins are high in fiber and have no cholesterol, so it, can, it helps uh, prevent heart disease and all of that. Uh, making sure that you're including vegetables, so any vegetable that you like, right? As long as you're choosing different colors, so you're getting different vitamins and minerals, um, and also the fiber piece is good. So any uh, vegetable that you like, as long as you're making sure that you're putting half your plate, making sure half your plate is vegetable uh, when you're um, uh, placing your meal together for lunch and dinner. So half your plate, Health Canada recommend at least half your plate, the food guide, half your plate with vegetables and some fruit. And then make sure that fruits that you can actually eat with the skin on, like apple, you will um, eat it with the skin on because you get um, um, insoluble fiber, which is the bulky fiber that helps clean our guts. Um, in this uh, if you eat the whole thing like that if you um, you can add things like seeds and nuts like I said to your salad to your um, your hot cereal like oatmeal oatmeal is very good um, type of uh, has good type of ins uh, soluble fiber it helps clear the gut it helps lower uh, cholesterol it helps um, lower blood pressure and therefore prevent heart disease so um, in adding some oatmeal into your diet having it for breakfast some people having it for um, dinner or a little bit of snack before they go to bed. This is a good way to make sure that you're getting high fiber um, um, grains and starches, right? So these are some tips to help you make sure that you're getting some fiber into your diet because remember, it's hard for us to know if we're meeting the 25 grams to, um, uh, to the 38 grams that Health Canada is recommending or for people with diabetes, if um, the recommendation from Health Canada for meeting the, um, the, um, the 30 to 50 grams. So in to help you know that you're getting enough fiber in your diet, these are some tips. When you go grocery shopping, make sure that you're picking um, uh, whole grain foods, high fiber foods, pick um, fruits and vegetables. Um, stay away from refined carbs like chips and um, those kind of things that are uh, high in fat and, um, and very low in fiber, right? So these are some tips that can help you um, in increase your fiber intake to improve your health and prevent disease and prevent complications from diseases. So, um, like I always say, please share this video with your social media friends, um, like Facebook, um, YouTube, however you share, however you communicate with people, please share uh, so we can all work together to help each other live a balanced life and prevent diseases and promote health. Exclusive.